Hey, it's Nathan Williams with Crazy on Marketing, and today we're gonna to discuss instant experience ads on Facebook. First, we're gonna go through a few notes, and then we're gonna go through a practical example and set up an instant experience ad. So, let's get straight into it. So first things first, an instant experience ad is essentially a mini web page, and it's a mini web page that is hosted within Facebook. So, if somebody clicks on it and visits it, it'll pop up this little page, which you'll see in just a minute when we do the practical example, and somebody can look at it, within Facebook, within their Facebook app or whatever, and then uh, they can engage with it by going to the next page or option, or they can close it and stay on Facebook and continue scrolling through their, their news feed or whatever it is they're doing. Now, instant experience ads are only available on mobile devices, so they don't run on desktop, so that's something to note. Uh, and the main benefit of these instant experience ads are that they load instantly. They're very, very fast. Whereas if you take somebody to your website, it might take two seconds or longer to load. And you know, people are all about instant gratification these days. So the, the strategy around these instant experience ads are to get the individual engaged because they click on it or tap on it, it pops right up, they can start looking at it, and then you can have some calls to actions or buttons over to your website. So after you already got them interested and in, like wanting more, then you take them to your website that takes longer to load and hopefully you get more people warmed up and over to your website and ready to engage. So that's kind of the strategy there uh, to use these as like the bridge between Facebook and your website because these things are fast and you can warm people up quickly with them. All right, one other thing about these instant experience ads, they're only available on a few objectives. We got traffic, brand awareness, reach, engagement, conversions, video views, store visits, and app installs. So you need to choose one of these objectives if you want to do an instant experience ad. And then a few other notes. If you choose the traffic objective, Facebook's going to optimize for getting people to engage with your instant experience ad. It's not going to optimize for people to go to your website. It's not website traffic, it's instant experience traffic. So that's one thing to note. If you want to optimize for website traffic, then you'd want to choose the conversion objective and you'd likely wanna choose like a view content standard event or some other standard event uh, that you could optimize for that's on your website. So that's something to note uh, right there. And then also with videos, if you're running a video ad, uh, you know that those automatically play when your people are scrolling through their newsfeed. Uh, and if you have a video in your instant experience, if your video is the first element in your, in your instant experience, it's gonna play automatically. So if you have a video ad, and then video is your first element in that experience, the instant experience, you're gonna have two videos playing at the same time, and you don't want that, obviously. So if you have a video, make sure that it is not the first element in your ad, or in your instant experience, okay? And I'll link to this article down below so you can go through and make sure you're uh, getting all the details. So let's head over to the ads manager and set this thing up. So I'm just gonna hit the create button now, and I'm gonna create a new campaign, call it Instant Experience. All right, and then buying type auction. I don't even know why there's a drop down. I've never seen anything else, but who knows. Anyway, campaign objective, I'll just choose traffic. Remember that's one of the approved objectives right there. I'm not gonna mess with split test or budget. I'm not gonna care really about the ad set name or the ad name, just to have save to draft. All right, so here we are. And let's just go straight to the ad level. We don't need to mess with any of that other stuff. That's not what this video is about. All right, now I wanna scroll down here to the instant experience area and click add an instant experience. Now, Facebook does have a few pre-established templates. So if you do choose template, you'll see that they have customer acquisition, form, and sell products without catalog. And we'll go through these just real quick so you can see what they look like. So customer acquisition right here. So this is what it looks like. You got image, you got some content, some more text, you got a button here, you got an image. Actually, you got a carousel, it looks like, so you could scroll through a few images. And you got some more text and a button. And over here is where you could go ahead and edit or change what is shown in the instant experience, right? So it's pretty self-explanatory. So you got the image, you could have a link, so the image could link somewhere to your website. You know, text. All right text, 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 button, button. So very, very self-explanatory. I'm sure that this makes perfect sense. It's actually very user-friendly. 
Uh, so yeah, I don't think I need to explain too much here because it's very simple to use. And so I'm just gonna hit this X button and confirm. I don't wanna save the changes. And let's check out the form template real quick. So here's a form. You can have an image up here, some text, email, full name, uh, the whole disclaimer and everything, submit button. And over here you fill out all the details and everything to create a form. And you can have custom questions, take in phone numbers, all that type of stuff. Uh, yeah, just read the, read the instructions. Again, very simple, self-explanatory, intuitive, etc. And let's check out the other final template. They got sell products without catalog. So it looks like this image, give reason, give people a reason to buy, yada, yada. Product one, product two, product three, product four, and then a button down here. And again, just like every other experience we've been through so far, same concept. Do, 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 product one, product two, product three, product four. You can add more products if you want to. And then we got the button at the bottom where you could link to your website. So all very self-explanatory so far. Oh, let me try and close out of here, confirm. All right, now if we wanna build our own, which you probably wanna do because you're cool like that. So custom instant experience, click this option and then we can name it demo. And then we start adding components. So this is like a, like a little page builder basically. Remember, this is essentially like a mini web page that's hosted within Facebook. So they got several of the same options. So add a component. We got button, carousel, photo, text block, video, form, header, product set. So pretty self-explanatory stuff. Let's just go through them all real quick. So we got button, okay. And we got our button right here. So give people an action to take. We can write something, click here now. And we could change a font family if we wanted to. We could change a color if we wanted to. We could change the size if we wanted to. Uh, we could add our website. So let's go to crazyimarketing.com. So we got website, or you could do an app store. So if you have an app, you can send people to your app. Or you could send people to another instant experience. So you could create a bunch of different instant experiences and connect them all together with these buttons and take people all over the place and you know provide a unique experience if you wanted to. Uh, so that's, you can use your imagination on how to accomplish that. We'll keep it at website for now. Oh, why'd it go away? All right, and then we got button style, so outline, which looks like this, or we could fill, looks like that. Button color, you can change that how you want to, and so on. So very self-explanatory. We could also fix the button to the bottom of the view if we wanted to. Let's add another component. We got carousel, okay. And carousel is simply, let me see. I just grab an image real quick. And another image. So carousel is just, you know, a couple images that you can, people can slide between, and you can also link those images to website, app store, instant experience, so everything. Again, the point of these instant experience ads are to get that thing up in front of those people, in front of your ideal customer, like as quickly as possible, and then you take them over to your website where they can buy something, or opt in for a lead magnet, or something to that effect. Uh, although, also, you can have a form inside of an instant experience, so people could opt in for your lead magnet right here in the instant experience. But add component, so that's carousel. Photo, self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go through it right now. I think you understand the concept. So we'll just add a text block real quick. So text block, la 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 la. Again, you can figure out you know, how to size it, change it around, yada yada. Simple enough, add a component, video, okay. So you can select the video, boom, boom. There you go, cool. And we got layout fit to width, or fit to height, tilt to pan. Ooh, very cool. So if you have a vertical video, that could look good there. Add a component, here's form. I'm gonna come back to that, let's do header first, okay. 
And the header, of course, goes at the top of your, your instant experience. And you could use, oh, it popped it up here, I think. There we go. Header, so we could upload a logo if we wanted to. 882 by 66 pixels, which is kind of a weird size, so something to pay attention to if you're uploading a, an image. Uh, or you can just use text. So, welcome. Now we could change our colors. Boom, there you go. There's our header. And come on back down here to components. Uh, we got product set, okay. And if you have a, an e-commerce store and you've connected your site or your products to Facebook, you can pull that, that catalog information into here and basically load in your, your different product sets. And then you'd click this plus button here and then you'd have to go through these steps here to sync your products with your instant experience. I'm not gonna do that right here, uh, but it's pretty simple and self-explanatory. You just walk through the process. Let me delete this real quick. And then let's go back in here to add another component and add a form real quick. Now note, instant experience ads on Instagram don't support form, so something to note there if you're trying to run your ads on Instagram. Yeah, instead of having a built-in form in your instant experience, you'd wanna take people to a squeeze page or lead page or whatever uh, opt-in form on your website, right? Uh, but if you're running your ads only on Facebook and you wanna collect lead data right there on Facebook, through your instant experience ad, you can use a form here. And you can use you can use a tool like Zapier to grab that data out of Facebook and transmit it into your automation tool. So maybe it's Active Campaign or AWeb or MailChimp or GetResponse or whatever. Uh, you could use Zapier to make that connection. Anyway, let's go to form, hit okay. And then we got the different form options. So instant experience ads on Instagram does not support contact form, got it. Accept terms, yep, view terms, I agree to terms. Okay, cool. All right, then we got our header. Enter your info below, that works. Email, full name, phone number, whatever contact info you need to collect. You could also add custom questions. So if you need like address information or birthday or something like that, you could go ahead and hit that option and have people enter that info, link to your privacy policy, the thank you screen, so what happens after they hit submit on their form, so thanks, you're all set. Your info has been sent, tap below to visit the website. So this is the thank you page right here that people are shown when they submit the form, and then of course your link, which links to the, the website. So there you go, that's how you go ahead and add a form. Now, also, real quick, you can rearrange the order of your your components or elements. I think they call them components. So if you want the video up here above your text, you can drag it up there. Actually, let me hit this arrow here to make it smaller. All right, now we can kind of see. There we go. So now video is above the text instead of uh, below it. And so, and then the arrow makes things, you know, come down or whatever. And then you can also delete the different components by hitting these three dots, delete, and so on. So once you're ready or happy with your instant experience, you come to the top here, you hit save, you wait for it to load, you hit finish then, finish this instant experience. If you are finished editing your instant experience, you can complete your ad and place an order. You can access and edit this instant experience in ads manager and your pages publishing tools. So that's something to remember. Uh, if you wanna make changes to this instant experience, uh, you can, sorry, my chair fell down. You can go into your ads manager or your pages publishing tools to edit it and we'll, we can check that out in just a second as well. So hit finish. All right, so I got my instant experience set up and then you go through the process of setting up your ad just like normal. So we got an image, cool. Come on down here, text. Headline, and boom, you got an ad. Remember, it only shows on mobile devices, so we can preview it real quick. So this is what it looks like on your mobile news, news feed. Boom, boom, instant experience. You hit publish, and just like that, your, your ad is live with that instant experience. Now let's go ahead and try and edit this instant experience. 
In the past, you weren't allowed to edit instant experiences, so I'm kind of curious to see if this works. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll, we'll go through a workaround. So let me navigate to my page real quick. So here I am on my page, and I wanna go to Publishing Tools, just like the instructions said. Publishing Tools, come on down here to can Instant Experience Canvas. And here's all of my Instant Experience Canvases right here. So boom ba doom And let me open up this one real quick. This is the one I just created. So copy the Canvas URL or click to create a page post below. So we can create a page post, so we don't need to run these instant experiences or canvases as ads, we can use them as just a page post. So that's pretty cool. You don't need to basically pay uh, to create them. Uh, you can have them just on your page and or people organically could come find them and engage with them. So that's a pretty cool thing to note here. Um, but I don't think there's a way to edit it, honestly. So I don't know what it was really talking about here. Let's do view. And yeah, so so you can't click or edit any of this stuff. So what you need to do if you want to make a change to one of these instant experiences is you hit this duplicate option. It creates a duplicate real quick or pretty quickly. And then after a second, it'll make that copy. So demo copy or you can change it to, you know, version two or whatever, and then make your changes, hit save, and then you can go ahead and attach it to a post or an ad or whatever you're trying to do. So that's how you go ahead and make a change to one that's published. Um, yeah, I don't think you can edit ones that are already made. So you duplicate, make the edits to the duplicated uh, instant experience, and then you can connect it wherever you wanna go. So that is it for these instant experience or Canvas ads. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if, if so, please leave a comment down below or like or whatever. All right, thanks.